Yeah, I definitely think they do. Um, I personally think that in Australia, the bowling attack is, is going to be vital um, with the, under those conditions. And, you know, when you've got the test players of staying feeling more because on their team, um, I'm sure that you'd have an impact. And then you put on top of that the batting prowess of uh, Amler and De Villiers, uh, who would be in the top three, I think. Uh, in the in the ODR ranking, uh, I think that's as good a chance as any. Uh, I, I think we we have had some wonderful cricketers over the years. Uh, you know, when we first came back, I don't think it was much of an expectation. But after the first World Cup, where you know with that rain, it became a bit of a ridiculous situation. Twenty two of thirteen, we could quite twenty two of one. Um, yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. But but after that. that Come back, uh, you know. Obviously, people realised that South Africa was a force to be reckoned with. Um, and every time we've gone to the World Cup after that, we've had the ability to go all the way and win it because we've had the, the players that were, were good enough to do that job. So, yeah, I think it's been frustrating. We also realised that you pick up against other teams um, who are just as good, and you know, if their players produce on a certain day, then they end up winning. So, yeah, I think it's, it's been frustrating for South Africa because, as I say, we've had a team that can win any of those World Cups. Uh, we haven't managed to do it. Yeah, I, I think that's just the rubber of the green. I mean, there's been two tournaments that uh, in the final game that, that, that we've been involved in. We haven't lost the game. We've, we've tied the game and we've been knocked out. So, uh, yeah, it's, it is unfortunate and yeah, that's just the way it goes, I think. Uh, all, all teams have to deal with certain things and on other occasions we've come up against a far superior team you know for example uh, in the 2007 World Cup I think Australia were definitely the best side on display uh, and they went on to win so, yeah it's been a case of some unlucky breaks um, and then also losing to sides that are of good quality I think 99 was probably more disappointing because, you know, we had a very settled unit there um, and we were in the semi-final, which means if you win that game, you go into the final and you've got the best chance. Uh, yes, it was very disappointing in South Africa in 2003 because you had all the, the uh, public support on your side and, and you knew the local conditions. But there was still a long way to go in that tournament. You know, even if we get through to the Super 6 stages, uh, you have to play well there, and then you have to go to the semis, and then try and get to the final. So we're a long way off with, and um, in '99 we were particularly, we're basically there. You know, we just had to get one more run, and we'd have been in the final at Lords. So I think that was the most disappointing. Yeah, I think it's disappointing because you know, for in one day cricket, uh, you know, the ultimate is, is to win the World Cup. Uh, it only comes around every four years. So. In many ways, it's like the Olympic Games uh, for a cricketer. Um, so it is disappointing we haven't had a, a victory in it. But yeah, you know, the, you also got to look at the. I mean, throughout that period, we probably rated number one and two over the whole period of time that I played international cricket. Uh, one day international cricket, so yeah, I think you know. Consistency and performance is something that you need to value as well, and we need to do that, but we just didn't manage to produce our best cricket when the, when the tournament took place. Yeah, I don't think it should work against the thing. You know, if you look at New Zealand, when they had to look at their time too, uh, I think they played out of their stock. Uh, you know, they did better than anyone thought they would. Um, so from our perspective here in South Africa, I think you'd much rather be playing at home. You know what the conditions are like. Um, you've got the public support. The only, the only difficulty is maybe the distractions off the field. Then, you know, fans want a little bit more of your time and sponsors who are local want you to come around. But uh, in general, I think it should be an advantage, not a, a disadvantage. Uh, uh, yeah, there's pressure every time you play in the series, so it doesn't really make a difference from that. But yes, the expectation is bigger and the, the focus is bigger, but uh, as a top sportsman, I think that's the best thing. Well, I, mean, I think I think New Zealand are playing some good cricket, uh, and in their home conditions, I think they'll be a handful. Um, 
I would think Australia have got a really good chance. Uh, I mean, they've got some, some real firepower there if they're making a vote in the continent. Uh, South Africa, I believe, has got a very well balanced side and, and depth. And, you know, India for me, yes, I think they would probably be the fourth semi finalist. Uh, my only concern for them would be uh, the bowling department. I think they've got the bandits. Um, I'm just not too sure how their bowlers will go.